morning, everybody. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, we just want to say thank you for joining us today. Uh, just uh, praise God for every opportunity that he gives us, whether we're at home or in a drive-in church, wherever we are, we know that wherever we go, we carry the church with us. We are the temple of God. And so praise God for just another opportunity uh, to be able to gather this beautiful Sunday morning and to give God all the glory and all the honor that he deserves. This is a week, a special weekend, a Memorial Day weekend, a lot different than how we normally celebrate, but usually, you know, on these days, we do like to honor our servicemen and women that um, are serving our country uh, through our armed forces. And so uh, we want to just take this time to also say uh, we thank you and we salute you, all of our men and women who are serving in our armed forces. Thank you for your service uh, and thank you for your service to our country. And we pray that you will enjoy this weekend and that you too will remember uh, to thank uh, any of them who have served uh, our country uh, valiantly and, and, and have served them well. So thank you for that um, and we just pray God's blessing over all of you this day. But without further ado, uh, we're going to get ready to worship this morning. So please, uh, let's prepare our hearts. Amen. So now we're about to get ready to worship. Amen. Amen. Uh, so grab your families, grab your children, wherever you may be in your homes. It's not a time for us to be sitting around mm -hmm. to watch worship um, as the worship team leads us this morning. Amen. 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 So let's get ready to worship. We are little low, a tap or in a little tail. We are fat man. We are little yat. So, oh, my lover, let's uh, get into the heart of worship this morning and give God all the praise yes. and all the glory that He alone deserves. Amen. So, God yeah. bless your worship this morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. In Psalms 150, at verse 6, it says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath, that is including you and I this morning, while we still can, while we have air in our lungs, let us sing praises and give honor with our lives where it's due to God and God alone.
Tatalo tamai ya talia mai le atua le mato vi inga O tu ina atu ya te oi le ne yaso le atua Le aso mato te fia fia ma oli oli yai Awa ana le se no oi le atua Mato te le maua le ne maftanga We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor God And we praise you Father because we know God That you are all that we need Wana o oi lava o le talio mato mana oma Tu ma watu ya te oi lau lava vi inga tama O nei maso uma yo le fava va u fava u lava I le suafa manu malo yesu ke riso Amen, amen Praise God, praise God I know that this is, you know, I can't hear you But why don't you put your hands together And just give God the highest praise Right where you're standing Amen etu fatasi o kakao Ave se tato tau langa pati Ave ni inga ile tu ele nei taeao Hallelujah, hallelujah Praise God Ya tuwe fa atalo fa atu 
ile tato uh, au mai mo ne neita ya po tato ikale si foi we would like to welcome you uh, again this morning if you just uh, have joined us we just finished our, our worship time of worship this mm. morning um, so we would like to greet you in the mighty powerful wonderful name of Jesus Christ ole swafa la valea mo fai ma tato tu ma futa ma fa tasi le nei ta ya ma to wo fie wo saunia le tu ya tato te tapu wai tato te vivi ya tu wai ile tu amen so this morning um thank you for joining in yes. um and joining us this morning uh, yes. wherever you may be uh, uh joining in uh, on our service this morning we welcome you and we greet you in the mighty and precious name of jesus christ and so amen. this morning amen. uh get ready get yourselves ready for the word of god amen and so we're excited because if you've been following along with us uh these couple these last couple of sundays uh we've been going through a mini series called watchful in prayer and this goes along with our theme for 2020 as a church uh we released this uh theme and this vision in march uh to that, that as a church uh, we not only need to be rooted in God's word, but we also need to be watchful in prayers. And, okay. and, and how much more important that message is today Hallelujah. and in this season that we are in. Hallelujah. Watato wo o yaso e ngata ai a watato wo o yaso muli muli le sata no a yesu o le aso e tau na mata halai lona e kalesia tau na fa auta uta i le tatalo i a mawa ale upo le tua le ngata i le i a te patau la i a yesu o i a le a ngata fa ato to a ina le tato fa ato to and so o le tato o le aso muli muli la ni o tato series o le fa uma i tato series le a i tel tonu o a ngale ne series i lo samani nga fa le a nganga e to i fa malosi ai oi ina ia mawa ai upo le tua ia fa auta huta i le tatalo ia mataala i le tatalo a wa wo o mai aso e ngata ai so again uh, the prayer is that this series will encourage you in your walk especially in this season that we're in that it is very very important that it is imperative as a church that although we are not gathering in the in the church like we normally do you are the church at home at work at school at play wherever you go you carry the gospel you yes. carry the church yes. and the prayer is that right now is the time to Praise take God. prayer seriously right now is the time to be watchful in prayer and so we're glad that you've joined in and like we, we like to say we believe it is not by accident that you are here this morning we believe this is by divine appointment and God has a special yes. word for you this morning and so thank you again for tuning in but we're going to jump into the word of God as we bring our series to a close here if you have your Bibles with you first Peter chapter 4 verse 7 mo mo peteru no no tau pe fa fa pe fitu ya ole tato mawale la sa tato tal ta noi ya o ifo ya tato maule ole fa u maile tato tal noanga ile tato series le mo mo peteru no no tau pe fa ya o no fa u pe fitu first Peter 4 verse 7 it's important if you have your bibles pull it out i know it's just one verse but again we are a bible based church so pull out your bibles open it up read along with us uh we're going to read it first in the new king james version and then we'll read it in Samoan. so again first peter 4 verse 7 and, 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 it, and it reads as this but the end of all things is at hand therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers mm. amen Today, as we close our mini-series, we title the subject simply as this, Having a Mindset of Prayer. A Mindset of Prayer. Ole loto po se ma fau fau ua nau nau ile tatalo. Ah, ole loto ua nau nau ile tatalo. A Mindset of Prayer. And again, as we've been trying to explain, Ah, yafsa yafto amatu ole autu ole fai upu le ole tatalo. 
o le fsili fa fena tato tatalo fa melo peteu ia fa auta uta le tatalo ia mata ala fo le tatalo o le fsili ai se al me tato te fa auta uta le tatalo ai se al me tato mata ala i tatalo ile fa upu la le femeya a u lata maile nata ango me o malava so we know the power of prayer and we want we're not going to again we can spend time reiterating the power of prayer but today we want to focus on the last part of that which is to be watchful in prayer the last week we talked about being serious in prayer this week we want to talk about being watchful in prayer we all know as christians and as believers prayer is important in the life of a believer is sili on a tau le tatalo ile o langa fa kerisiano moilato uma o talitonu ya yesu kiriso and so today when we talk about watchful in prayers ah le matale le tatalo we need to look at the term there because the term in greek is a slightly different it has the idea of being watchful but the actual term there nepho is actually to be sober Ah, is to be sober, to be sober-minded. This is the idea of the opposite of not being drunk with wine, not being intoxicated, not being under the influence of alcohol, but to be sober-minded, to be clear-minded. Ah, in other words, someone who is under the influence of alcohol can't think right. They can't make good choices. But someone who is clear-minded, someone who is sober, in other words, to be calm and collected, to be temperate and full of self control this is what peter is saying that as we pray we must be clear minded we must be sober minded ah le wingo se tangata e le paye au tangata ya o tangata e matala o tangata e oso tatau ah e le se tangata e fa pala pala ma fata la le le avano au tangata o fa au tauta le tatalo le winga le tasil ta ne tatalo ai e le fa lua fo ina tatalo au tangata o e tatalo e le au no o tangata le ya e matala Ol tangata le e manga fa nga fa a le winga e ma fa o fa o yai e na o na o yai lo na lo to a ai pe o le lu ita o na mo ita to le ita e au o le a me na na o na o yai lo lo to o le tata lo i a na o na o ita to le upo le tua i a tata o na o na o foi i le lo to tata lo i le ma fa o fa o fia fia e tata lo because we all know that the battlefield happens in the mind ah o le tawa fa le nga nga e tu pu le ma fa o fa o see the thing is a violent battle is always raging around us 24 hours 365 days of the year whether you acknowledge it or not whether you believe it or not i'm telling you there is a battle that continues to rage around us it's an invisible battle and it is the battle of your mind it is a vicious and unrelenting intense battle that happens every day this is why some of us lose sleep at night this is why some of us become mentally ill and physically stressed this is what causes is wars fights and arguments because here's the thing before it happens physically it happens in the mind and this is why we want to challenge you that if you have a mindset of prayer if you have a mindset of godly things you can whip that issue in your mind and then take care of it physically because the battle begins here in your mind and we need you to understand yet the fata o the amele tato tanga te kirisiano a wa lava ne ne ema natu fata wa a wa foi ne ngalo ya te o lo ya ile te wa fa le ngalo Le lo tupu ya so umma tato olanga le tupu in tato ma fau fau me nga o istanga te le mau ai le moe me nga o istanga te o stress ai ai se a lango le tau le tupu in ma fau fau an me nga le te mo fai tu ai a mau e tato le ma fau fau e su ke riso a mau e tato le ma fau fau o loto le tatalo e le ai se me a te toi e toi e toi lango e tato le ai se me toi fa longo e fua tato e e e tato ti a polo ma tato tato fili a o tato manu malo ono e su ke riso. You need to understand there is this battle. That's why uh, Peter also says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be alert. Be sober-minded. Why? Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And 
e leo moele ti apolo mela nai ta uwe tato matahala langa a, a, a mata moe tato a pa ye tato o le whaimo fia fwa ngao le alwato ti apolo e faa ososo oe ma e pa ua tuwa yona faa ososo nga ma e pa ua tuwa itu ina nangwa le nei lalo langi a le mea ta uwa le kale siya midway ma o to uma lo mata mata mai nei ta yao i a tato matahala ili a tatalo langa leo moele fili o le mea le tamba faile fili o le fasioti o le nga oi ma le faa umatia o le mea le e kale siya matahala the devil only came to steal kill and destroy and trust me the devil is not sleeping he's not waiting around he's going to continue to come and pursue you until he can bring you down that's why as a church it's important wake up church it's time to be watchful in prayer now is the time to have a mindset in prayer amen god is good church i can't hear you god is good church all the time amen we must be vigilant we must stand our guard. We must stand our posts. Church, we must guard our minds and be watchful in prayer. And so we that you know we're excited to bring this message into your homes because we believe it's an important message to the church today. Now is the time. It's a we have three things that we we want to discuss with you that helps us understand how we can have a mindset of prayer three ways to have a mindset of prayer Amen. So three ways to have a mindset of prayer. The first thing is to have a mind that is transformed. Amen. A mind that is transformed. Amen. 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 I pay tai ia lili uina ile toe fo ta ina o to loto ina i o to su su e be se a le fina na o le atua o mea o wale le male 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 atua atua. So we're talking about a, a mindset of prayer. The first thing that we need to do as as believers to be able to have a mindset of of, of prayer is to have our minds transformed. Ah, ina ia lili uina masu i o ta to ma fo fo ile roma le su ma lo fa mo mo le lo. It says, do not be conformed to this world but be transformed Amen. by the renewing of your mind amen so in this uh, in verse one of the same chapter it tells us that in view of god's mercy i beseech you i appeal to you i urge you to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to god amen and this, the reason why paul is writing here is because in chapter 12 there is a change uh, from uh, chapters 1 to 11 he is uh, building up his case he is mm. presenting the mercies of god right. So first we know that in Romans it, it talks about um, because of sin we needed a savior. Mm -hmm. For all have sinned and fall, fallen short of the glory of God. And then Jesus, we know that Jesus died for our sins and he brought us righteousness. So uh, we have been redeemed. We now have eternal life. This is God's mercy for us. Uh, and God's love was demonstrated for us. Amen. God is not only a person, a God that talks about his love, but he shows us his love. Amen. And Romans 5, 8, it says, but God demonstrated his love for us in this while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Ah, wa fa ali tu no mai ele tu alona lofa ina wa maliuke riso masu itato a itato wanga salapia. Praise the Lord. We praise God that although we were lost in the world, we were um, doing whatever we.
we wanted in this life that God sent his only begotten son to die for you and I. Amen. Romans 6 23 says for the wages of sin is death uh, but the gift of God is eternal life. Uh. So we've been justified in Jesus Christ mm. through faith in his blood. We no longer live in condemnation. Now we have the good news good. or the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the children of God. We have been saved from the wrath of God. So all of this from chapters 1 to 11, Paul is telling us about the mercies of God, about the grace of God, about Amen. the love of God. And so now in chapter 12, Paul is now shifting gears and telling us now, now church now midway because of his mercy and grace and love we have to present ourselves as living sacrifices unto god we must not be in the verse 12 it says not be conformed right. to the pattern of the world amen. amen do not be conformed to the pattern of the world so now we're talking about the mindset of prayer mm. so an opposite of that there is a mindset of the world mm. so what is this mindset of the world the world always says that i want to do things my way mm. uh, if i want to be in control that is the mindset of the world yeah. no one can tell me how to live my life mm. they turn to depression uh, uh, they turn to suicide mm. drugs alcohol you know the the things that people think that would satisfy their mm. their, their lives and their souls but only jesus can satisfy you amen yeah. so the mindset of the world again I don't need God we see that a lot in this world today but we only need God when when we go through problems now people tend to turn to God and um, when we are going through problems amen but the mindset of the world is I don't need God and again prayer is isn't important this is what the, uh, the world thinks why do you need to pray prayer uh, prayer is not important this is the mindset of the world but we're, we're reading this morning in romans 12 verse 1 and 2 it says do not be conformed to the pattern of the world we have to have a mind that is transformed because the mindset of the world is always going to be concerned with the selfish desires mm -hmm. it will reject the will of God Amen. and making prayer sadly what is the last priority for a person who has the mindset of the world mm -hmm. prayer is not important in the life of a person who has the mindset of the world mm -hmm. this is why we as Christians or believers must choose to have a mindset of prayer Amen. and not to think like the world amen we need to no longer think like the world be like the world but we need to transform our minds so how can we no longer conform to the pattern of the world how can we change our minds to having a mindset of prayer by being transformed in the renewing of your mind amen when we transform our minds amen. amen so you may ask how do you transform your minds you know you've been thinking you know i've been trying so many times to change the way that i think to not think like the world to to having a mindset of prayer to being serious about god and to serving god and to amen. giving him my whole heart but this morning i want to help you the only way that you can transform your mind is by the word of god amen, amen. amen. Yes. nothing in this world can change your mind amen. it can probably just entertain you make you you know think uh, positively for a while is temporary but the word of god the word of God is the only thing that can change and transform yes. your mind. So yes. if you're wondering, I've been trying it on my own for the longest time. I'm trying to change my mind. I've read so many books, you know, I've read quotes and, you know, I'm looking up to inspire, uh, inspirational, uh, you know, teachers and, and people like that. 
they will not help you to transform your mind. Only, only the, the word, word of God. God. Only Amen. the word of God. Amen. Amen. And so we know the scripture, uh, 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17, or said, or to see pa ia o malava e mai le anganga o le atua ia it's amen. from god this word is from god it's god breathed yes, amen e anga fo ia e a oa o ai e a oa i ai e fa atonu ai e fa apotu ai fo i tato i le a mi otonu ina ia sa o ma le lei lo tato savalinga ina ia ato atua o na le lei o le tengato le atua i a sa o nia lava ia i nga luenga le lei o malava all scripture is given by the inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Mm. The word of God is what will change you, will Amen. transform your mind. Amen. Right. The word of God is what will transform our minds. And it says that it's used for teaching, reproofing, rebuking, correcting, and, and training in righteousness. Right. The word of God will teach us, mm. will teach our minds, it will correct our thinking from no longer thinking and being conformed to the pattern of the world but now um, helping us to think like God helping Amen. us to think um, in, in alignment with the Word of God and it also instructs our thoughts uh, sometimes you may think oh I don't know why I think the way that I do uh, it's because you're not planted in the Word of God it's because mm -hmm. you're not renewing your mind daily with the Word of God but this is the power of the word uh, and you know we've been studying also um, uh, every Wednesday with our Bible study about the sound doc doctrine and we we just uh last week we've just been um highlighting that the word of god is powerful mm -hmm. and so in uh the same verse that we just read it says it is profitable mm -hmm. what is the word of god profitable for why is it beneficial why is it valuable mm -hmm. because it can equip us and it can help us to be ready for every good work if you are not founding yourself on the word of god you will not be ready when god calls you to um to, to go and you know fulfill his calling you will not be ready but only the word of god will renew your mind transform your mind and equip you for the will of god amen mm -hmm. so it's profitable and useful so that we can be ready for the work of god Hallelujah. and so again we must we you know we always Always talk about this what are you filling your uh, your mind with uh, what are you filling your hearts with because you know it's important that we must fill our minds and be immersed and dive into the word of God daily because the word of God has the power to change to mold us and to transform our minds into what having a mindset of prayer we're talking about prayer this morning uh, but the only way we can have the mindset of prayer is what if we spend time in the word of god on, if amen. we read the word of god i love what hebrews 4 12 says is it says for the word of god for the word of god is living ah it's not a dead word ah we praise god because we serve a god that is alive and his word is living um you know every time we read it is god speaking to us ah so the word of god is living and powerful again it is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts again on the mouth of and the intentions of the heart Amen. the word of god is still working today uh, you may be wondering oh you know i don't the, you know, i always read the word of god and i i'm not getting anything from this but we read here today that the word of god is alive and active and Come it on. can continue to do and if you believe today the word of god can continue to work in your lives That's as right. well amen, amen. 
tu o lo vai vai fo i e o lava ile vava e se ino o le loto male anganga o ngau ngati no fo i ma ano ivi o lo fa masino fo i manatu ma fili filinga o le loto Amen. the word of god every time we read it it's like performing open heart surgery come on huh? it's performing open heart surgery on us because every time we read the word of god it hits us yes. up it teaches us the truth right. it tells us and it brings out into in, into the uh, the open and right. into the light mm -hmm. it dissects our hearts even to it says even to the thoughts and the intentions of the heart so the very things that you are trying to hide from people are the word of god will bring that out mm -hmm. the word of god will um reveal what is going on in the heart amen mm -hmm. and this is this is why it's important because um if we're trying to have a mindset of prayer we need to allow the word of god to speak to us we need Man. to allow the word of god sure. to bring out those things that are hindering us and preventing us from having the mindset of prayer so the more you fill yourself with the word of god your mind will be renewed amen wow. it will be changed from thinking like the world and now thinking like someone who loves to pray ah uh, who turns to prayer for prayer first rather than the last option ah right. <laughs> Because in Psalms 1 and 2, it says, you know, we have to meditate upon the Word of God uh, day and night, day and night. Yes. What is the first thing that you think about when you wake up? Uh, a lot of us, it's, you know, we wake up and we instantly think about the problems uh, of life, or some of us, we reach for our phones and check what's, what's new. <laughs> And what's the latest gossip yeah. on Facebook or whatever it may be? Ah, so tell us that so or ele ma fau fau mana tu natu ele a fiona pa i ale tua. I isin that that so tell manatu ye pe that so fi ala vai tai ah. But an encouragement this morning: fill your lives, fill your mind with the Word of God, so that what we can be transformed. Ah, um, because if we don't spend time studying the Word of God, if we don't spend time meditating and thinking about the Word of God. Our mindset is not going to change. Mm. Our minds are not going to be transformed. It's going to be the same. Ah, we're still going to be conformed to the pattern of the world. Mm. Mm. But let us fill our minds with the word of God. Mm. So this morning, I ask you, what are you filling your mind? but this morning um, because some of us we we fill our minds with unnecessary information of this world uh, some of us fill it with social media the news the gossip you know uh, the opinions of others instead of filling ourselves with the word of God ah let us fill ourselves with the word of God ah a while or the Philippians 1 verse 9 it says and this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge uh, and in discernment we um, to grow more in their knowledge of who Jesus Christ is Colossians 3 verse 2 it says Set your mind on things above and not on things on the earth. I oto loto lava i mea oilunga ai le o mea ile la lulangi a. So a person who has set their minds on the things above is someone who has the mindset of prayer a. O le tangata ua loto i mea oile langi bo o mea fa alea tua. Yo le tangata lea wa yeile ma fau fau e fia fia manau nau i le tatalo a. And you know in the same... Uh, in the same chapter it also talks about no longer conforming to the pattern of the world but what we need to be transformed Amen. in the renewing of our minds Amen. so this is one of the ways that can help us to uh, be transformed in our minds is the word of god and also to help us to have a mindset of prayer amen, amen. that's so good number two a mind that is filled with the holy spirit yeah, ah 
Romolo nam chao pue valu fe upue lima se ore valu fe mei Awa o e i la le tino e loto atu i la to i mea la le tino Awa o e o i la le anganga e loto atu i mea la le anganga Awa o le loto i la le tino o le oti lea Awa o le loto i la le anganga o le ola lea male manuia Awa o le loto i la le tino o le ita le i lea tua Awa e faalonga lupunga Langa lea na peina chala no atu ya Ya tina e lua to inga ma faufau le yai O le ma faufau a tutusa ma le lalu langi Ma le ma faufau a leto e ma faufau le lalu langi A wa taula le vamo e moi ale i le atua O lo na ma faufau a tu ina atu i le atua Lela fe mai O le i la le tino e ita i le atua Those who are governed by the flesh They are hostile to God In other words, they don't like the things of God That's why to have a mindset of prayer And put prayer first instead of last Like she was saying and I love that because a lot of us if we are conformed to the patterns of this world prayer is usually last it's the last minute thing it's that emergency only thing we try to fix everything our own way and then when we can't do it we finally say okay God we throw a Hail Mary up to God hoping that God would answer at the time but see if you have a mindset that is set on God and the heavenly things God would be your first go-to when the things rise up when problems come up when you start to face strongholds the first thing that someone who has a mind on God would run to is prayer and that's why when you look at this it says that the mind that is governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. For me, e ita i le atua, a wa e le ushushta i le tu la fono le atua, e le ma fai fo i ona ushushta i ai, le winga le ta mfai la pastor le pa fai loa tu i ata oe, e le ma fai e le tangata ua tai taia, ua tai taina le tino, o le tangata o lo o alu anu pe le o lo fa atusa pe me la mio lalu langi, ona ushushta i tu la fono le atua. You're either for God or you're against God. And so, you know, there's no such thing as this in between. It says those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot very clear cannot please God from me oila to for your la latino e le ma fai on a fear fear ya ile to a mele ta wai o le fa tu mu ina ta to le nganga pa ia la mo le nga we nganga le nganga pa ia e sa we so so ani mai ma musu musu mai ya ta to ina ya ta to to si po lo inga yesu one of the biggest works of the holy spirit is not only to renew our minds and change us but it's also to remind us to stay in step with the will of god to stay in step with the word of God and I love that because it's important you know when you look at Ephesians 5 verse 18 it says do not be drunk on wine which leads to debauchery instead be filled with spirit now of course we can simply say oh it's talking about being drunk but the idea here the deep context here is again the idea of being under the influence of alcohol versus being under the influence of the Holy Spirit because if you're under the influence of alcohol you don't think right you're intoxicated you make bad decisions you make poor choices you're never thinking right your, your mind is not clear but here it says instead of being intoxicated with not only alcohol it could be anything I don't know what your drug is whatever it is that you run to whatever it is that you run to first if it's not God this is what even yeah. Paul is saying don't get caught up or be under the influence of that thing instead be full of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I love that because here's the idea. This verb here, it is in the present continuous uh, uh, present tense, meaning that it's not a one-time feeling of the Spirit. It is a every day be led, be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Every time you must be under the influence, under the control of the Holy Spirit, not just on Sunday, not just when the Christians are looking, but every single day of your life. And so if you are under the influence of the Spirit, guess what? It's only going to be the things of the Spirit that you're going to think about. What are the things of the Spirit? Read the Word and pray. Those become important. Everything else is secondary to these things because that's what the things of the Spirit are. 
tua a faila wa fa tumu ina tato le na ngo le tua ele to ma natu tato i mela lang a wa ma fa fa wa tato i me fa le nganga o a me fa le nganga ya fa tau le opo ta tano le au noa ana pongi time ta na ana pongi ai ma ye tu ina tu tato ta ngata a to toa e fa ma oni ile nga le nga le tua because here's the thing if you look at that context of Ephesians 5 he's talking in the previous verses because once you are in darkness sa yai tengi ne yai le pongi sa le po uli uli a ai fa tai le tu from my ole ne wo tato yai le mala malamo yesu keriso o le mea na ina sa va valia o to ile mala malamo yesu a le vo fa me ya sa yesu esu e tato pe se a me ya e fi fi ai le tu a a wo ne to ma na tu tato yai tato ma tato me fi na o tato ai tato fa ye se me ma su esu eni me e fi fi ai le tu a and then it says what a wo ne to ya mi o fa tasi o to manga this is still in Ephesians 5. It also says, I fight tete oto in a year oto sava vali malefa outa outa. I want a fa pay oe vanilea. I a fa pay oe popoto. I a fa on a ina oto waso le neo langa. A wa on a pone ua leama. To so left from me apostolo palo. O yaita to tame ua leanga. Ita ngata ua leanga. O tupu tele lea miu leanga. Ah, we're living in the end times when people are just the evil days are here. And so. This is what Paul is saying, be careful how you live, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of every opportunity. Why? Because the days are evil. What days are we talking about? We're talking about nowadays. We live in the days that are evil. And now as a church, we need to have a mindset that is a, a, a mindset of prayer, that a mindset that is like, like my wife said, that is set on your affections that are set on the things of God and not on the things of the world. A mindset that is renewed by the word of God and a mindset that is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And like I said, a continuous thing. Galatians 5, 16 verse 17 says this, I say then, walk in the Spirit. And I want you to catch that. It's an action. It's something that we need to do. It says walk in the Spirit. It doesn't say sit in the Spirit. It doesn't say just do nothing in the Spirit. It says walk in the Spirit. So if we are to walk in the Spirit, we need to make the decision. Walk in the spirit and you shall not. Listen to that. There's a condition. If you walk in the spirit and you choose the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Did you hear that? If you're wondering, I'm having this battle against these sinful things, a hidden sin, the only way you can overcome that is if you choose the Spirit, is if you fill your mind with the Word of God, fill yourself with the power of the Holy Spirit, walk in step with the Spirit, then you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Ah, for the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the the things that you wish. In other words, again, Paul is referring to that battle, the battle between the flesh and the spirit. And it's interesting because in this same verse, it has the fruit of the Spirit. And then it has all of this. I mean, I think the, there's a longer list of the flesh. It says adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath. I mean, the list keeps going. Selfish ambition, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, and revelries. This is the list of everything that happens in the flesh. This is the list of everything of, of anybody whose mindset is still on the world. Ah. 
o le finau vale, o le fevai vai inga, o masenga ma mataua, o le fasioti, o le onanga, ya male paula, o le umi, o le lisi o tangata, e fa alango langa mawa ta ita ina tino, ah, au tangata e fa moe moe le anganga pa ia, e mawa ia le lofa, ah, e mawa ia le oli oli, e mawa ia le file mu, ah, o tangata po a lava fa fita au le tula imai, o a lava pua pua nga e ui ai, e le malu e lua e lona lofa ile atua, e le ele a ve sei lona oli oli malona file mu e mata lofa e anga le lei a e fa maoni e anga malu e lenga o ya a ma na ilu fu mulmulinga e lenga o ya lenga o tanga tele fo fo ya a e mau sali lona fil filinga o a mau sali lona fa tio tua o a fili fili e ya o le a tua lava malona o wal o le a nanga pa ya that's why it says in verse twenty four twenty five and those who are in Christ have crucified did you hear that have crucified the flesh with its passions and desire. E kalesia e mana o mi o na fa sata o hinan tanto tanga tatuai. Lang o lisi le me o fai ma fa ala ve lave tato. E tato watu fi fa ma oni le tua. A le a lave le fa sata o hinan tanga tatuai. O le me la tu pu el tanga tele fa sata o hinan tanga tatuai. E oso ma ya tanga tatuai fa vai vai oe. E oso ma ya fa oso oso ya te oel vai aso. A mai se lave te mi ne o tato yai. O le ma o na te talo na e pe e mo i lave le o pe o ma na i to mata mata mai lunga TV. A le popo le nga e i tanga te o le to mata mata mai. O le to e fatu o tu e le tu o a ve nei me a me o fa vai vai ai a ye mata hala le kalesia a o nei to moe a o nei to tuli moe a o foi nei nei fa pala pala ma fa tala le le ava no nei o le ava no nei midway ye tato tu la i ma mata hala le upo le tu a mata hala le tatalo fa uta uta le tatalo fa uta uta le finangalo le tu a ye tato fe me a fa i o tato wola le anganga i a tato sava bali foi i le anganga it is the holy Spirit that helps us. It is the Holy Spirit that does the renewing as well. Because as you read the Word of God, that's what Jesus said. The Holy Spirit will help explain to you, will help reveal to you the mysteries of the Word of God. That's why Titus 3 verse 5 says this. The Holy Spirit, He saved us through three things. The washing and the rebirth and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. The renewal of the mind happens through the Word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Futai o le mau ala te tano le atua mai mau le tai mi pe amato o mai a ele o atangi o lo mamalo ele o nga to tonu le mu o ele atua le mene o le mato te tano so se tai mi mato te vivi i ai so se tai mi mato te tapua i atua i ate oe mato te mbara o mi alo a fi oanga we need your presence within the midst of our our worship and our praise so again we need the power of the Holy Spirit because we know it's not by might nor by strength nor by power but by the Spirit, says the Lord. Say amen. amen. And then the third thing here is a mind that is prepared for battle. Oh man, this is good. Honey, if you can just read this verse, I'm going to bring it to you in this context of 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 and 5. If you're with, uh, if you're with us and you still have your Bibles, turn there and we're going to, this is where we'll close up our part 3. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3 to 5. For though we walk in the flesh, mm. we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are mm. not carnal, right. but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, Amen. casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, Amen. bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Amen. Mato te le tau fa le tino, a wa o a upenga a lo mato ne tau wa. E le fa le tino ia, a a e fa mano lo sia e le tua e le peti ai o lo, o lo o le peti i lalo ma salo salonga ma me a mau lunga uma o a fa sia sia i le mata upo le tua, o lo fa to i lalo ina ma natu uma ia ana ana ia kiriso. Amen. So a mindset, right? The third way is a mind that is prepared for battle. There's a spiritual battle that's going on. But here's the problem. A lot of us Christians 
Christians are oblivious to this. We go on living life like everything's okay. But if you are, are following along and you understand, some of you might be having a battle right now in your mind. There's something that's stressing you out. You couldn't sleep last night. You have, you're tossing and turning. You, you tried to sleep, but you didn't really find rest. There's stress in the family. You know that after this, you're going to go back to the stress that's in your family. I want to encourage you. That's what we call a spiritual battle. There is a spiritual battle and we as a church, we as believers, we need to be aware of that. When we come, we are always fighting a battle. Yeah, but you might wake up and say, everything's good today. No, always be alert. That's what the Bible says in 1 Peter 5. It says what? Be alert, be sober-minded. Why? For the devil is roaming around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. In other words, the devil is not resting. He's not sleeping. He's going to continue to attack your mind. And if we are not alert, if our mind is not ready to battle, we will always be defeated. But we can find victory if we prepare our minds for battle. Yes, we live in the world. Notice that's what it says, right? For although we walk in the flesh, Paul is acknowledging we live in the world. We can't take that away. Whether we like it or not, Paul is saying, yes, we live in the world that's full of issues, that's full of problems. Paul is acknowledging we have a lot of tribulations. We have a lot of issues that we go through. We walk in the flesh. But listen to what he says. But we do not war according to the flesh. Do you hear that? Even though we live in the flesh, we do not fight like the world fights. We do not argue like the world argues. We do not act like the world acts. Just like my wife said, we are not conformed. In other words, when it comes to our battle, our battle is in a different dimension. Our battle is in the spiritual realm. That's why Paul says we wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against your brothers and sisters. Okay, guess what? Paul is saying we live in the flesh. What does that mean? We're going to make mistakes, but that's not a reason for us to argue with each other. Instead, we need to be alert. We need to be aware that there is a battle. There is a spiritual battle that's taking place, and that's where we take our fight. That's where we go and take our fight. Yes, we live in this world, but the weapons of our warfare are not worldly. They are not carnal, but they are what? They are mighty. Did you hear that? They are mighty through God. Let us pray, pray, pray. Let us read the word of God. This is the weapons that God says they are mighty in God. Alone they can do nothing, but in God they are powerful. Our fighting is not weak, our fighting is powerful. When we go to the spiritual dimension, we win, we succeed. Why? Because God has given us the power to pull down strongholds. And I love that because when you look at that, that's the issue there, right? Is just to war against the flesh, but we do not fight this. But here's the thing. Weapons of our warfare are strong enough to what? Pull down strongholds. You know, we look at strongholds, right? And I'll let you kind of just carry on here. It's, it's strongholds is this situation or a thing that is hard to beat. It's this entrenched, fortified wall, if you will. Imagine it because... And so when we look at the stronghold, that's that idea, that context of what it is. So if you can, you know, explain further with strongholds. Amen. So, uh, you know, we're, we know that we're, we're battling a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. And so now we uh, we are looking at for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. 
Strongholds are things that can keep us from serving Come God. Amen. Amen. Strongholds are things that can keep us from having a mindset of prayer. Ah, or all of Mamea, in another sense, or Vaivanga or Maya, it's our fear, it's our toe, in a ear, Tato, Mawal, and now no Tainga, Maya Tato, Lotto, Ile Tatalo. Ah, these strongholds are things that can uh, keep us from having a mindset of prayer. Ephesians 4, verse 27, it says, and do not mm. give the devil a foothold. Come on, Amen. Yes, ah, right. Our four in it to inatu, e oto se mea, e mautu, wai leti a polo ah. You know, each and every one of us, we may be having, we may have a weakness this morning. Right. Ah. There may be strongholds in your own life That's that right. no one else knows. That maybe um, you are, you're still allowing uh, the, mm. the, the devil to have a foothold in your life. But this morning, you know, we were, 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 were learning about uh, strongholds that can be brought down through the word of Come God on. and through prayer. Ah. On, yes. So don't give the devil a foothold. Yes. Ah. Even though, you know, you don't entertain, um, you know, the devil trying to, to, to bring us down and right. everything like that. Mm -hmm. But let us, let us not give um, an opportunity for the devil to continue to um, to distract us. Ah, but let Amen. us, um, let us fight with the word of God That's and right. fight through prayer. Ah, so this morning, what strongholds are keeping you from drawing closer to the Lord. Why are you in a Nama, Alene Lano Langi, Pole Pap, Punifoi? What's our fee? I love Tama Maletua. What's our fee? I, Yena Yema Fofama, a lot so ill at Tawa. Because each and every one of us, we have a stronghold. Amen. We have something that we're all dealing with. Yes. Huh? But this morning, it's possible for that stronghold to be brought down in right. Jesus' name. Uh, it's possible for that stronghold to be gone in the name of Jesus, for you to close the door so that the devil does not have a foothold in your life are right. um, but that's only possible if what if we spend time in the word of God and if we have a mindset of prayer amen langa it's of all matter at home of a vein or look for money now a lemma fine tattoo for a pale young salad tattoo and a local to spy it's a fine my lord tell you I'm a salad like a pillow boy who now more more you want in my way I am a salad all matter at home it's of all matter at home of a vein a matter to the law up or have I been an hour off after it's a way more it's a minute I feel now if I know how to yet a way a yale manna Wa fa amalo siya le tua ya au penga yo tu ina maya itato e ma fai ona le petia ya olona ya mea na wa fai ma fa ala ve lave lo sabalinga fa le nganga atono se anga sala wa fiu o ita ma fai o te fim na wa fai loa tu ya tu e te ma fai ya ai awana ne e fa onga ina ya au penga fa ala lani a e mana o mi olanga le tawa le se tawa fa ala fa ala lani a le tawa fa ala nganga mea na yem na o mi ala suya itato manatu ya when we think and have a mindset of prayer when we we pray we're entering into that dimension into that spiritual realm and so we don't argue against people and and against this world you know I, I just want to make sure that we continue to trust in God that we continue to know that what God has given us yes. is more than enough it's powerful but here's the problem that there was always gonna try and try to you know throw you off guard he's gonna say nah you've been praying Nothing's been happening. Look at you. You've been so faithful in the word of God, but you're still in the same situation. See, because that's what the next part of the verse says, right? It says what? Casting down arguments. It says, and every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the what? The knowledge of God. Where do you have the knowledge of God? In your mind. So that's where the battle is there because the arguments are trying to attack the knowledge of God that's happening in your mind. That means anytime you read, anytime you pray, the devil the devil is already waiting to attack that prayer. The devil is already waiting to attack the word that you're hearing. That's why the Bible says like the sower that he sows the seed that when the worries of the world, right, that the birds come down, that it, it represents the devil who simply comes and takes that word out. Why? Because we allow the devil, we allow the devil to win up here. But when we set our minds on God, when we renew our minds through the word of God, when we are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and when we know that we are fighting a spiritual battle, you're not going to fall sleep on the devil you're gonna be like devil not today yes. you are a liar yes. get behind me I am gonna take control of my life through the power of God yes. and this is what it says he has given us the weapons that are not of this world but are mighty are mighty to pull down strongholds they are mighty to cast down arguments all of those things that come against your thought of the Word of God because like I said don't don't forget every time you read the Word of God the devil's gonna challenge it this is what he's been doing from the beginning 
God blessed Adam and Eve and told them you could do everything. And what does the devil come? Are you sure that's what God told you? See, that's what the devil likes to do. He always challenges the word of God. But you be rooted in the word of God. Don't be uh, movable. Be unshakable in the word of God. So that when the devil comes, that's why when you fight, notice how Jesus fought the devil. He used spiritual weapons when he was tempted. He didn't fight physically, but he said what? When the devil said, turn these stones into bread. He said, the word of God, behold, the word of God says that what? The, the only things that we will live by is everything that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We, it takes spiritual weapons to fight a spiritual battle. So church, I encourage you, use that spiritual weapon. Fight against the devil through that spiritual weapon. Ah, you know, even in this season that we're in, I know a lot of us, you know, we're looking at the, uh, the you know, coming back as a church and things like that. And I want to encourage you, wherever we are, this is a spiritual battle. This is not a physical battle. So let's pray. Let's ask God, Lord, help us, guide us in this Amen. season. Because here's the thing, no matter what season we're in, God is still in control. Hallelujah. God is still faithful. Whether Amen. it looks like our world is falling apart around us, don't forget that. God is still in control. Even in this season, coronavirus, it doesn't matter what happens. I want to encourage you. God is still in control. And the church is going to move forward. The church is going to adapt. The church is going to continue to be the church. Whether we're online or physically meeting, God is still in control. Because we have that spiritual battle. Say amen. Amen. So casting down those arguments again, because we're bringing every thought into captivity. I love that. That verse is to bring it into submission. Again, what is this saying? It requires battle on our part. We need to, in other words, you're not just going to sit there and hope and wish that that thought's going to disappear. No, it says you need to bring that thought into captivity. How do you do that? When the devil comes, you use the word of God. No, I'm going to bring that into captivity. I'm going to allow God's word to flourish and grow. Devil, you you are a liar. This is what the word says. I am the head and I'm not the tail. I am above and I'm not beneath. I will be blessed in my coming and going. I will be blessed in everything that I do. I am a child of the God, the great King. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am saved by his grace. Don't let the devil fool you. Know who you are in God. How do you know that? Be founded in the word of God. Be founded in the word of God. Bring into captivity. Bring into submission those thoughts. Those evil thoughts, bring it into submission to the obedience of Christ. Because like I said, no matter what, even in this life, we're going to deal with that. You can't avoid it. There's no jumping over it. Can we just skip that? No, you got to endure. you got to go through. And the only way you can endure and go through is to be founded in the word of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, and be prepared for battle. Be that watchman. Because that's that idea of, of being watchful. You know, I love Habakkuk. He says it's like a watchman who stands on the tower. You know that the whole city is relying on this one person? That if he falls asleep and the enemy was to come and break through and this watchman didn't do his job, all of the lives of these people are affected you know and I want to say that your life is just as important that's why you need to stand guard for yourself for your family can I uh, can I ask all of our men head of the household you have a responsibility to stand watch to stand at your post and make sure you guard your family mothers you have that uh, responsibility just as much to stand post watch guard of your husband your kids and your family make sure you don't allow the devil to come and try to break up the fabric of the unity that God has blessed in your family because that's all the devil is doing. He's trying to attack. He's here to break up families. He's here to break up the church to cause dissension, to cause division. But we can stand up against that through the power of God, the weapons that we have that are not of this world but are of God and are mighty. And I say again, they are mighty to bring down those strongholds. You can stand up against the devil. You have the power for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have the power, church. Don't let anybody else tell you. You have the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. You have the word of God and you have the power of the Holy Spirit that is in you. That's what Paul says. Do you know that the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is the same spirit that worketh in you? Do you know that power? You have it. But again, you need to wake up 
up, church. Have the mindset that is ready to fight, ready to battle. Not our brothers and sisters, but ready to battle the principalities and the darknesses that are above us. Uh, make sure we are ready to fight this fight. Prepare your mindset to have a mindset of prayer. It's a mindset that is transformed. It's a mindset that's filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's a mindset that's ready for battle. And, you know, we come to a close with this book, you know, in Ephesians 6. And uh, it's, a, it's a famous, we already know that because in this part, Paul is talking about the armor of God. It's a spiritual armor of God. And, and we all get it, you know. But I want to highlight one thing because when we look at this, uh, uh, when we look at this, we know the armor of God. It's the belt of truth. It's the breastplate of righteousness. It's the shoes of the gospel of peace. It's the shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. Uh, and then it, when you look at it, a lot of us, we stop at the sword of the spirit. You know, but I want to encourage you that it carries on. When you look at verse 18, right after it speaks of the sword of spirit, it says this, praying always. Come on. Hallelujah. If that doesn't light a fire right now, I'm telling you. Besides yeah. having the armor of yes. God, Hallelujah. verse 18 says, don't forget this. Even though I don't have any other part of the armor of God to associate this with, I want to help you. After you put on the armor of God, praying always. That's what it says. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And then there's our word, being watchful. You see that? <laughs> to this end, with all perseverance and all supplication for all the saints. Prayer is very important today. Ah, ah, tato wa maile tu si efeso lo, wa tato masanye ilum tau poyono, o lo tala no maile apostolo Paulo i ofuta wa le tua, wa tato masani la le sunga titil fa maoni, o le ufi fata fata le amiotonu, o le se evai o le tala le o le file mu ah, o le tali kupuni o le fatu tua, o le pulo tau le o le tanga, ma le pelu o le anga, ai tele la o tani tato faita we ngata il tato faita u, ai ngalo ye tato fa upe sul malvalu na fa mai. Ia o to tatalo ah le winga a uma uma na ofia lo futa uma ile tua o le mesu so ai ia o to tatalo ile nanga ia so uma ia so uma lava ita lo talo ma fa tonga uma ia o to mata ala we ba ina o to so mai tata upo ia o to mata ala pea ile nei lava mea le ar mea le tatalo ia so uma tatalo ile a noa tatalo ile a nanga ia so uma ita lo talo ma fa tonga ma fa mai le le iswe uma ma ia matua ta o sisi le fa tonga mo tanga in other words, remember your brothers and sisters. It's like we said in the beginning. We're not wrestling against our brothers and sisters. Please. No. There's a bigger battle. It's a spiritual battle. And in there, we need to pray for one another. That's why it's important, church. Le loto e nau nau le tatalo. Ia mau e tatou le mindset. A wone i toe a miu fatasi ma lau lang. A wone i toe filfili lau lang. I matu i na nau nau le nei lau lang. Filfili le tua. Filfili le nganga pa ia. Filfili ma ia i loa. E ia i le tau a fa le nganga le fai. A wangi e mo e ai a. Ang alisin nga ka wole bang alokwa lo mo e fa le nganga a. Ai le tei mi toe matalai. A wone i tatou tuli mo e. A wone i tatou fa pala pala ma fata la le. A i tatou fa au tau ta. I tatou matala i le tatala. You know, and we praise God, you know, as we bring this to a close, we hope that this is an encouragement to you to understand the importance of being watchful in prayer, to have the mindset of prayer, to be serious. Why should we be serious? Because the end times is here. The end times when many will be deceived. The end times when many will be... Uh, um, uh, will be um, persecuted, right? Uh, and, and be betrayed. You need to remember that because who's being betrayed? Who's being persecuted? Who is being deceived? The people of God. And so as a church, let's wake up. Let's not be part of that big group that Paul says, and many will fall away from the faith. No, now is the time, church. Be serious in your prayer. Be watchful in your prayer. Be ready for battle. Be alert. Guard your house. Guard your family. Do you have a war room? Get that war room ready ready again if it's been dusty clean it up open up that war room and start fighting the spiritual battle again we're not fighting the way the world does we fight our spiritual battle in the spiritual realm in the spiritual dimension so we encourage you church
aye tu la ima yo tangata ke wishiano fa mo mo le tu ila to wala uma e fia fia tsalo fia fia fe to upo aye wa la wa nei fa se e tato le pisi o tato i me ale ama nei la lang ama le singa me o mai pisi ten ala fa ma losi fa ma on le tsalo fa o ta u ta le tsalo e la ni si nei a so a fa we fa long long mo mai fo ya te oi ya le tato a ta ko inga nei ta ya a fa pe fo o e si if I feel oh my wife will learn mindset, me more more. If you ma fail oh na e mala mala my me fail ya ngama. If I fail oh more more tell ya yes we fail mali we fail. I told you we fail oh more my fail. We a few. Kele kele ya me wa fail ma pa 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 ni lo ma fanga mle tua. We a few saw we le tua. I ya ya strong holds na oloka fear oh. I want to pray for you. There is power in Jesus. If you just have Jesus be Lord and Savior of your life, I'm telling you, He will give you and equip. You with the power to break that stronghold yes. because there is no stronghold too mighty for God. Everything is possible through God, but you need to make Jesus Lord and Savior in your life. You need to believe that there is no one else that can help you but Jesus. Well, now, yes, we have found a family in a low lotto, and my five for you on a on a Talia Yaman Oma, be my five for you on a Lepetia, the Olo now of Fima Babuni, Ilo Maftana Muletu. I find all now, Nita, if that's you this morning, I want you to pray this prayer of salvation. And when you pray, make sure that you pray with faith in your heart. The prayer doesn't say it's your faith in God. The Bible says to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, then you will be saved. It's a donu lo lotto, it's a tino if I don't want to, or you suke. Riso ya vya malima fa ola ilo wolanga o inai fa ola inai o inaita ya afaila o yole fa alonlo ma inaita ya ya yemul muli ma tano le la sauni atu tina mu mu refa perta ni ya ya ona so ile refa samo if you're listening and you want this prayer of salvation we don't want to be remiss with this opportunity follow along with this prayer of salvation as our spiritual mom leads us in this prayer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father. Yes, God. I know that I am a sinner mm. and I ask for your forgiveness. Mm. I believe that you died for my sins yes, and God. rose from the dead. Mm. I have turned from my sins. Yes. I repent of my sins. Mm. I invite you to come into my heart and life. Yes. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord mm. and Savior. Mm. Wa o tali tonu ilo maliu malo toi tu mai nai leoti ona o awa masala. Wa o salamo maliu ese mai le ami o le ama. A fio mai oe ilo o nei loto. Ia faya oe malii ma fa aola ilo o lama. Ile suwa fo Yesu. Amen and amen. Amen. If you said that word of prayer, I just want to say welcome home. Yes. Welcome to the family of God. Yes. Congratulations. It's the best decision yes. that you've ever made. And we just want to uh, encourage you with just a couple of things. Number one, make sure you grab yourself a Bible. Get the word of God. Like we said today, those are the powerful weapons that God has given us. We don't fight like the world. We fight with spiritual weapons. One of those spiritual weapons is the word of God. Find you a good Bible. Start reading. Now that the Holy Spirit is in you, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Second, pray. Just like we're talking about in our series, pray. Now, don't make prayer so complex. Just pray to God like you normally would in a conversation with someone. Tell God your feelings. Tell God what you're going through. And then ask God to help you. Ask God to guide you and lead you. Third, when churches are uh, allowed to come together, man, find yourself a good church and plant yourself in the church. But in the meantime, find yourself Christian brothers and sisters who can encourage you in your new walk. Celebrate my oi. Tolu lava na ime e fa marosie e lo sabalinga folia o faia mua mua vaiso tu spaia pe ono tam faia tu tato a onga nei ta e apole upole tua o leisi le va enga ta hua leisi le au penga fa le anga o tu spaia sue so tu spaia te fai tau yai a a a te talo foi o leisi melong loi te talo le au noa te talo le tua pe ono tato te talo le mata ala le te talo au foi le fa 
fina talo tatao e pela vol tatao tal tal no andeta ya tal tal no ha o ile tu a failo a tu ile tu o man onga o langona me onga ya ma fsili a tu ya fso so ani ma ile tu a tolu a tu si iti a ne sam o lo tatao ya ima maula ya vano e tatao e tu e poto poto ya e kalesia su e fa alese lo tu e te alu ya i amon leita ni su eni o wo ke visiano a a o ni tu e wo e malalulani a su eni o wo ke visiano e faina fa malosia o e ilo savalinga fo a ya fa man wia le tu a congratulations again thank you for making that wonderful decision we celebrate with you the angels in heaven are celebrating yeah. with you Amen. so praise God God bless you and we love you well midway that brings us to the close of our service this morning uh, we've had a great time with you and that's our prayer is that God will continue to bless you in this season that we're in May God bless you uh, in your daily walk. For all of our friends that are visiting, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. But now, uh, we have a few announcements uh, that we would like to share with you. And uh, before we jump in our announcements, uh, watch these videos for some uh, exciting things that are coming up for the church in the next couple of Sundays. Good morning, friends. I know I have missed you so much. I pray that you are all staying safe and that you are all being good to your parents. So I have some exciting news. Starting next week, Sunday, we will be starting our children's church. Yes. We're all excited. Join us. It starts at 9.30 a.m. So get your family and everyone in front of the TV, your iPad, your phone, whatever it is that you're using, and join us. We are going to be um, going live at 9.30. I can't wait to see you guys. I feel your blessed. God bless. Love you. Church family and friends, on Sunday, June 7th, you will have a commencement promotion drive-in ceremony. Join us. Gates open at 2.30 and the ceremony starts at 4 p.m. Due to COVID restrictions, if you are not feeling well, please stay home. I repeat, please stay home. For everyone else that's joining us, please bring your mask and please stay within your car and those in your home. If you decide to step outside of the car, um, you cannot leave the vicinity of your vehicle. We encourage all families to make lays and posters um, to shout out your graduate. See you there! Hey, man, exciting times for the church. I uh, just want to thank Mealy with our children's ministry. We're excited to provide that uh, because we know that some of you have been telling us that the kids are just sitting. Hey, kids, you guys excited about that? Uh, for their children's <laughs> service. Also want to thank Mata and our youth team. We're excited about yes. that celebration. Get excited, church. You know, just because we're in this season doesn't mean we can get excited right. and do services different. We adapt as a church and we do what we can. So we are excited, uh, not only for our children's church, but we're also excited for all of our graduates. And uh, a time will come when we'll deal with that. But again, church will be ready for that. Uh, we will continue to follow up with more announcements. But here are a couple more announcements uh, for our church. Amen. So the first thing is online giving. Amen. Thank you once again to um, everyone who has been uh, just um, blessing our ministry and just giving uh, to the Lord um, in this time that we're in. We pray for God's blessings upon you. And so again, if you would like to partner with us um, with, uh, with our ministry, um, feel free to, to give online um, and you can also um, access that on our website midwaysamoanag.com um, and you can uh, give online and partner with us that way amen the second thing is on wednesday we have our bible study amen uh, you know we've been talking again about the importance of the word of god so um, get your bibles ready get your families ready next wednesday as we are continuing uh, continuing on with our series of sound doctrine uh, uh, pentecostal perspective 
um, and then at six o'clock it starts so six o'clock next Wednesday amen. Um, and then the third thing is our women's prayer meeting amen, amen. Uh, it's this Thursday again it's always a great time to be uh, together with the women of God um, and we always have a great time in, uh, in prayer and in fellowship with the Word of God so um, if you are not doing anything this Thursday the same time uh, same place 10 o'clock this Thursday same time next week uh, be here again we invite you to come and join us for our online service next week Sunday 10 o'clock um, as we celebrate Pentecost yes, it is the Pentecost, Pentecost Sunday, Sunday next week so join us and we welcome you amen and so just uh, uh, again uh, take along with what uh, she was saying you know it's important especially in this season that we gather I know that uh, it can be difficult you know to be busy with other things but do your best to guard this time this is the one moment that we get to fellowship uh, Bible studies you know the beauty the beauty of this is if you miss Bible study you can always come home and click replay so uh, you know watch party I can go fail watch party for silly low fan I worry Lord go fan I'll fail watch party I you know uh, again the, the purpose is not to to flaunt midway or what we're doing no because we believe in the Word of God we believe in the power of the Word of God and so that's why we want to encourage you to share let people know not for the glory of man but for the glory of God because the more we can get out there and influence social media with the Word of God man that's all we care about so again share it with uh, whatever you can uh, I do want to address one thing Thing as we close, I know Ote Loto Telo Tato is a Taimi Wasola, Woto Falong or Lomo is a Fantalanga Fogula Perstene, America, Donald Trump. I know some of you have seen uh, statements made by Donald Trump, and we are all under you know his authority and we agree with what he says um and so you know i know some of you are anxious when is church going to start are we going to start next sunday are we going to start next month uh at this time we have no date for our relaunch but we want to encourage you to just pray with us uh the board and us we're going to work together to figure out a good date because yes we're excited to get back but you should understand also that we're in a bit of a different season so that means church is not going to look the same uh like we normally do but we're gonna get there but for the meantime we have to set up some uh, precautionary steps to make sure that we can ease on back in into what we normally do that is why we relaunched Bible study in fact uh, I know this is ahead I'm jumping ahead but we're hoping to relaunch prayer meeting uh, next month as well God willing uh, but again it, the, all of these steps is to ease us back so that when the time comes for us to relaunch we'll be ready for those oh, steps yeah. but for now I want to encourage you that you please uh, uh, just pray for it there are no set dates uh, we're gonna finish off the rest of this month online uh, I believe we'll probably continue into uh, most of June online so Stene, 
mo lei chai mi ya chan chon ya cha chon sa ite ya ma ya ba ba ai fa lei le fu cha ya ya le ai la o le afo li va la le sa le la sa mo cha chou fa nao man chua fa mon mo le afo le i va po cho po cho fa lei cha chou fa nao mo le le sa ni ngar fa nao le afo le i va le fu a le fu be on ma san ya ya le cha chou sa ni ngar le a lo cho lo cho tele po cha po ya tele ya ai o te lo e pa nao fo fo langa ai ya fa man bu ya tele le chua we're just excited again and let's just continue to have the joy in the Lord wherever we are and so like we always like to end may God bless you and may God cause his face to shine upon you may his grace and his peace be with you throughout all eternity in the mighty name of Jesus amen and amen God bless you thank you for tuning in